It's been a while since I looked at a DJ product, specifically a piece of lighting tech. We are gonna look at a wireless DMX transmitter today. Let's get started. What's up everybody? Welcome to the Phase Reviews YouTube channel. My name is Jordan and if you are new here, thank you for joining us. And if you are a subscriber, welcome back. Now this channel actually started off as a DJ gear review channel. And as time went on, it grew into other technology sectors, headphones, uh, camera gear. You guys know if you've been a subscriber, but you know, every once in a while, a piece of DJ gear comes along that I get to review. And today we're taking a look at the PK Knight or P Knight Wi-Fi DMX transmitter. This is a cool piece of tech that allows you to control your lighting via iPhone or Android apps or PC or Mac programs. It works with a lot of free software and uh, it comes in at a price point that's perfect for people that maybe wanna just start testing the waters with DMX control. So today we're gonna take a look at everything that comes in the package with this guy. I'm gonna show you uh, how to plug it into your lights and we're gonna test it out and see if it works. Now before we get started, if you're not already please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell you know how it works it helps the channel grow and I'd love you for it but we won't waste any more time with that let's take a look at this PK night or P night Wi-Fi Canon Wi-Fi DMX transmitter okay so first things first on the channel we start with packaging and this is how this little unit comes packaged it's in a little like you know plastic bag but it comes in its own travel case which is something I always like to see especially for gear that you're gonna take out and use in different locations every weekend it's nice when they include a carry case that's fit and sized perfectly for the product. So you can see on the front, it says the PK Knight Wi-Fi Canon WP1, okay? And a nice hard shelled case, feels good, good zipper, I like that. We'll open it up, and I actually have two of these. This one is still packaged um, because they sent two for review. And uh, this one I left just how it came so that you can see how it comes packaged. It's pretty simple. The little carrying case has a mesh bag side and then it has an elastic strap side. And on this side you have the user manual and the user manual is nothing too crazy. Uh, a little bit confusing on the grammar side but that's to be expected uh, with a product for maybe a lesser known company. But they do include nice full color pictures on how to work this unit. Now one thing to know and one thing that we're going to do in this video today is that this will work with a large amount of lighting programs. And I don't have time to go through every single one of them or show you the intricacies of different lighting software. Today we're just going to take a look at uh, the product itself and how to get it turned on and paired uh, to your lighting fixtures. But if you want, you know, info on how to use all the different apps, you can find that out there on YouTube. And they give you an example with Luminaire, which is the software that they recommend. It is a software that requires you to purchase it. Uh, so that's not the software I'm going to use today but you have the option to use this with a lot of common programs like Light Rider um, and uh, Freestyler, stuff like that. Also on this side of the case, you've got this little plastic bag and it just has three things in it. It has a USB cable. This has a little DC end on it so that you can power um, the Wi-Fi transmitter. You have a little power block here, right? To keep uh, the unit powered on. And then you have the actual Wi-Fi transmitter right here. So you've just got an antenna on this side. You have a little port, little hole on the side there where you plug in the DC charger and not charger, it's not battery powered, but the, the power supply. And then you have the uh, DMX side right here. And so what makes this cool is this doesn't just transmit signal from a DMX controller to your lights, but this will actually pair via Wi-Fi with a lighting app or lighting software on your computer. It sends out its own Wi-Fi network. You just connect to that Wi-Fi network and when you open up your lighting software, uh, this device will be found within the software. And then this will actually convert your computer signals into DMX and broadcast it, um, well, broadcast it from the computer to this little unit and um, into your lighting fixture. And so this distance wise will work as far as the Wi-Fi transmitter will go. Um, whenever I test stuff here at home, uh, I just go across the house and that adds the complexity of walls and doors and things like that. And uh, as far as distance goes, my Wi-Fi network goes throughout my house. And so probably maybe 100 feet, 150 to the other side of the house and no problems with transmission across that distance. Um, other than that, just looking at this, there is one single indicator light and a button on uh, the unit right there. When you plug this into power, let me do that for you that little light is going to light up and it has a variety of channels. Now, we all know that there's a ton of congestion uh, when it comes to wireless devices these days. And so if you get to a venue and you're not getting a lot of reception 
uh, or response from your little unit. Um, there you go, you can see the light right there. Hold on, let me turn it, there it is. Um, you can switch channels and you do that just by doing a single tap on the button uh, and then the light should change color and go to the next channel, okay? Where'd it go, where'd it go? There it is, okay? Click it again. Um, and you can cycle through all of the different channels that are available. The manual says, let me double check, I don't want to tell you wrong. The manual says you have one, two, three, four, five, six different channels. So that should uh, allow you to find a free one at your venue. And you just keep clicking and go through the different channels. And that's really all that it is when it comes to setup. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna point a DJ light at the back of the room. I'm gonna plug uh, this in and I'm gonna connect my phone to the signal that it puts out and we'll do a little bit of testing. Okay, so now I have this plugged into power. I have my iPad right here, and the first thing you do when you plug this in, it's gonna generate a Wi-Fi network. Pull it up on your iPad, it's labeled PK Night. Uh, it's very easy to find. There is a default password that you can find in the manual. You'll also find the IP address of this little guy in the manual as well, and you'll need that in your lighting app. The app that I'm going to use today is Vibrio. It's one of their suggested free apps. And as far as lighting software goes, you know, I've used Show Express, I've used my DMX, and this is a pretty full featured app for one that I've never heard of. It gives you 16 included DMX channels to start, which isn't a ton, but again, if you're new, it'll just allow you to test the waters, maybe do a couple um, little effects with your PAR lights, and you can upgrade to 256 or a full 512 for a, a little bit of a fee. And the fee is not yearly, a lot of these apps like the Luminaire software that they also recommend uh, have a yearly fee and I hate that this Vibrio app you can buy it outright now again that's not affiliated with this this is just the one that I'm using this isn't a video on apps or how you control your lighting but anyway um, once you power this on you connect to the Wi-Fi network you just open your app up um, and there is a section in there where it says connection status you can find the uh, little um, device it'll pop up in there and then just grab your lighting fixture I've got the uh, eliminator furious 5 RG which I've done a review on and you just pop this into the DMX in slot okay and that's literally all you have to do so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up this app um, and let me pull up my uh, light show that I've got going on here and once I turn this on okay you're gonna see, there we go. Can you see that lighting going on behind me? Right there, okay? And that's how quickly this responds, okay? Uh, the setup process is that fast. Now, um, again, I'm not running you through everything that the software can do, but I wanted to show you how quick it was to get this set up. And I've kind of fumbled because my uh, studio here is a little small, but literally plug it in, turn it on, connect to the Wi-Fi network, open up your lighting app of choice, plug it into your fixture and that's all you have to do. So you can get one of these for a pretty good deal when you compare it to, you know, uh, other lighting control adapters and, and hardwares and dongles, right? Um, so the downsides to this, I mean, I gotta include those in the video as well. You don't get an included app out of the gate with a full 512 uh, channels of software and you do have to kind of find a software that you like best. It's not like you buy Show Express and you get the Show Express box or you buy MyDMX and you get the MyDMX box. This is a third party thing. You have to find an app that you like. Um, that being said, I really like this Vibrio app. It's, it's very easy to use and maybe we'll uh, do a review on this in the future. Um, but as far as connection, ease of connection, um, you know, the function, how quick it works, and if I've had any connection issues, it's been flawless, right? Um, I can't say that for other, like the Donner DMX dongles that I've used in the past, they were full of issues. This one has been super plug and play, worked right from the start. So two thumbs up for that. If you're new to lighting, I think this is the perfect option for you to maybe dip your toes in, you know, wireless DMX control. You can get this for a good deal, pair it with a free app, get a little bit of uh, control over your lights. Even if you can control some of those internal programs off your iPad, maybe do a strobe or something, that will up your lighting game tremendously. So uh, again, this is the uh, the PK Knight Wi-Fi Canon WP1. Uh, it gets a thumbs up for me. It is a little bit limited, but for the right audience, I think it's a great product. Now. Uh, if you want to see more DJ gear reviews, let me know down in the comments. Let me know if there's something that's come out recently that you are excited about or that you want to hear about on this channel. I appreciate you watching, and if you're not already, please consider becoming a subscriber because it really helps the channel grow. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.